So the Chicago Bulls offense this season has looked different. They've played more fast paced. They get teammates involved. They look for mismatches. And other than that, they're also getting up three-point shots. There's even games this season where they've shot more than 50 three-point shots in a game. But the question we're all asking is, is this sustainable? Can the Bulls continue to do this consistently? That is what we have a question for, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. But first, you got to hear the intro. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. What is up, LTB Nation? Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name is Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And don't forget to listen to our vocals only podcast on Apple Podcast and Spotify. It does help the channel. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers so we can keep making this a successful family for you guys. So let's get right into it. When you look at the Bulls, when you look at how they've been playing, their offense has been amazing as far as the Bulls fans are concerned. We're finally seeing a team that looks like they're playing modern basketball right they're pushing the pace getting the ball up the floor seeing a little bit of that basketball we saw in the few games that we had Lonzo DeMar Zach when they first started before the injuries this is a team that looks like they're primed to play the young guys we're actually using talent and not only are we using talent we're trusting them to take shots okay so the Bulls right now have been pushing they wanted to be the fastest team in the league. They wanted to be the most conditioned team in the league. And that's starting to show a little bit, even though there are some games where we don't look the best. You can see the change in the offense. This is one of those teams where now when we get the ball off of a rebound, we have guards doing that. So Giddy, Kobe, Io, Patrick Williams, anybody who gets that rebound is pushing the ball up the court as fast as they can, trying to get the offense going. With that, you match that into the fact that we're looking for people now we're looking to get that open shot the team is passing the ball whether it's making the right pass at the right time or moving the ball around the court in a way to get the defense scrambling so you can find the open player we have found a way to get up three point shots this year honestly it's surprising how many we take there are multiple games this year we shot over 53 point shots in a game and it looks like the Bulls are never out of a game because you can do that. That is one of the benefits of this type of offense. The Bulls right now can be down 20, 25 and take that lead away in a couple minutes because they start getting hot from the three-point line. We've also seen a big improvement from the players who are shooting the threes. Kobe White looks accurate game one and then he's off the next game that happens, but he's hitting consistently. Zach Levine is on fire this year, looking like an all-star and trying to get his trade value up, but also just playing in a role that's different than what he normally does, playing within the flow of the offense, picking his shots with a smarter IQ. Josh Giddy surprising us all, being consistent with three. I think right now he's probably in the 50s in his three-point shooting, but seeing Josh Giddy shoot like this has helped the Bulls immensely in this offense because he's a player that most teams would leave in hopes that he just couldn't make the shot. You also got Patrick Williams shooting. I would assume was hitting his three-pointers now. Vooch is having one of the best seasons he could possibly have, looking like Orlando Vooch. Jalen Smith that we did pick up in the offseason is also getting his shot down now. And you also have Julian Phillips showing that he can shoot the three on a consistent basis, not just in the corner, but around the court as well. This team can shoot. The Bulls can shoot three-point shots. We are a modern team. Now, the question is, will we continue to shoot or will we make moves to get better? I think this offense shooting wise can use some improvement. We can use some pieces in the future that are guaranteed knockdown shooters. Now, I'm not saying player names specifically as in we need to go get them. But if you get a Duncan Robinson type of player, a Clay Thompson type of player, one of those where if they're open, it's going down. You cannot leave that player regardless of what happens. It's going to open your floor a lot for Vooch. 
going to open your floor for Kobe and Io to drive, for Zach to get to the rim. These are the things you're going to need moving forward. You also need a player to play defense because, honestly, the Bulls' defense is terrible. Absolutely junk. And they're trying their best to make up for it, right? They're not the worst defensive team in the league, which is surprising because they don't have anybody with defensive IQ. But they're trying their best <laughs> to make it work. They're playing zone a little bit more now, even though sometimes they mess that up. They're a young team trying to figure out what to do on the defensive end so that they can let their offense shine. In some games, that doesn't work. A lot of times it doesn't work because a lot of times we go down by 20 or 15 and we have to work our way out of it instead of just being up and letting our offense speak for itself. So for me, the big thing to keep this offense sustainable in the future is going to be getting a knockdown shooter and getting someone who can be the defensive captain of this team. Whether that's Io stepping up and figuring out IQ-wise what to do and control this team or going out and getting someone like an Alex Crusoe style player that we had to really show this defense what to do and really coach them on the back end because Alonzo is not going to be playing back-to-backs. He's not going to be in a lot of the games this year. You can't rely on him trying to make that work. Also, we don't know how his knee will react to him trying to be that every single game, so we might not even see Lonzo play defense the same way. These are the things you're going to have to focus on. But as far as the offense for questions of will it be consistent, yes, it will be. As long as you keep finding your teammates and you keep looking for mismatches, we're starting to see the Bulls look at Vooch and give him the ball sometimes. There's still not enough. There's a lot of times he's up and we don't pass him the ball, but we're trying. We're learning. We're improving as a team when it comes to that aspect, and you can see it with his play. When he goes into the post now, there's a chance the Bulls give him the ball. Once he gets hot in the post, there's a chance he's going to hit a three. When he hits a three, there's a good chance he's going to pass it to someone who's open if they double him. So you got to keep working your team and using your stars to the best of their abilities. Now, what I want to know is what your thoughts are on this team. What are your thoughts on the offense? How do you think the team is playing? What do you think is going to work out with this team in the future? Comment down below. Let me know your feelings. But also let me know how you feel about the season. Do you think the Bulls offense is sustainable? Will they continue to be this type of fast-paced offensive team or will it all crumble? I would love that you guys are watching, watching the videos. I love that you guys are enjoying the videos. If you do have any questions, make sure you comment it. Let me know so we can talk about it in videos. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you for watching.